Hello. I'm Megan Clement. I'm one of the founding officers of the Filecoin Foundation, and I'm super excited to be here today at Consensus 2024, uh, talking to you guys about how you can get involved in the Filecoin network. So, just to get everybody caught up to kind of where we're at, um, our last report that came out from Masari showed some amazing new stats. We've got nearly 1,900 petabytes of total active deals already in Q1 of 2024. Uh, that's up 9% uh, from 2023 and 200% year over year. So, the Filecoin network is growing quickly. We have over 2,000 2, clients who have onboarded large data sets, um, including 500 really giant data sets. These are data sets that are in the multiple petabyte category, uh, and that is up 10% from last quarter. And we have over 3,400 smart contracts deployed. That's up 25% from last quarter. This is uh, all because of our, the launch of our Filecoin virtual machine last year. Uh, it's great to see such adoption of the FVM. We have some really impressive types of data stored on Filecoin. University of Utah, CERN, NASA, some of the most important scientific data sets of our era are entrusting themselves to Filecoin for its security uh, and its decentralization, which gives the inherent, um, the inherent value of being able to be protected against single points of failure unlike some of the large cloud storage providers that we're used to, like AWS or Google Cloud. So the Filecoin Foundation is here to be the long-term stewards of the Filecoin network. Uh, the Filecoin Foundation facilitates governance, we work on funding research for the Filecoin network, uh, and we support the growth of the ecosystem community. Uh, really, the Filecoin Foundation is here to ensure that the Filecoin ecosystem, which is made up of hundreds of thousands of small businesses, is able to move together um, with protocols that are gonna support our vision of a decentralized future. Our storage providers are located all over the globe, so there's no limitation to where you can live to be a storage provider. And as you can see, we really are truly decentralized in having uh, storage providers and data centers in, in over 80 countries. We also have um, Orbit ambassadors uh, and over 8,700 developers and founders all over the globe. So anywhere that you are in the globe, there's a way for you to get involved in the Filecoin ecosystem. Our storage providers, like I said, all over the globe, fully decentralized, and we are bringing on new storage providers every day. We have storage provider focused events, such as our Phil Vegas or Phil Hong Kong. If you're interested in coming to one of these storage provider events or just getting involved in the storage provider community, visit dstore.com. It's a great way to get the resources you need to learn how to become a storage provider in the Filecoin ecosystem. Uh, another great way to become involved is the Decentralized Storage Alliance. The Decentralized Storage Alliance is really focused on enterprise customers. Enterprise customers are responsible for over 80% of the data stored in cloud storage, and the Decentralized Storage Alliance, oh, <laughs> Decentralized storage Alliance uh, is a way for um, us in the decentralized Filecoin ecosystem uh, to really specifically address the needs of those large-scale enterprise clients. Um, we also have a ton of storage allocators and uh, different types of teams out there to, to address different types of storage needs. Um, just a few listed here, CID Banyan, Lighthouse. Really, go to dstore.com and figure out how you can come into the storage provider ecosystem if any of this is of interest. The Filecoin Foundation also facilitates a really robust grants program. Uh, we uh, supplied more than 150 uh, grants to teams building projects on the Filecoin ecosystem in 2023, and we have open grant requests right now. Uh, you can scan this QR code or you can email grants at phil.org to see what's going on. You can also go to our GitHub, uh, which always has all of our most recent requests for proposals for new grants. Uh, 
We also are always encouraging building on the Filecoin ecosystem. Uh, Filecoin is really created by its developers. The whole point of an open source ecosystem means that anybody can come in and help either build on top of the ecosystem or be part of the core development of the, of the underlying protocol. We have resources for developers both in learning how to get involved in the Filecoin ecosystem and learning how to get involved in the community of Filecoin. So come to our upcoming Phil Dev Summit happening in Brussels. Uh, go to docs.filecoin.io to get some self-service tools to learn how to start building on the Filecoin ecosystem or jump into participating in the hackathon. If you go to um, phil.org, we always have an up-to-date list of what hackathons are happening. One of the big things that we do at the Filecoin uh, Foundation, and something that's very near and dear to my heart, is our governance. So figuring out how we make changes in an open source protocol means that we need to get a lot of stakeholders together and figure out fair and equitable ways to make uh, decisions about what the future of the Filecoin ecosystem looks like. We have always been a community that's by, the, by our users. Um, and so our open source governance is very easy to jump into. We have monthly community governance calls. You can weigh in on FIPS, Filecoin Improvement Proposals, find out what's happening and where the ecosystem is going, make it the ecosystem that you want it to be. We're really excited that um, we are just about to launch our newest set of governance reforms called FIP1 V2. Those should be fully rolled out within the next month by July. Uh, we also um, have just launched a new tool to help us do community-wide temperature checks at metropolis.vote. Um, scan one of these QR codes or visit us at phil.org to start using this Metropolis tool and put your voice in. Let us know where the Filecoin ecosystem should be going. Filecoin Plus. Another big thing that we do at the foundation is we help manage a program called Filecoin Plus. This is a way that we use community incentives to let the community decide what type of data is real data and should be coming onto the Filecoin network. Um, this is another community-driven program. There are, there are, are bi-weekly calls, bi-weekly like once every other week, not bi-weekly like twice a week because that would be kind of a lot. Um, but there's bi-weekly calls. Uh, jump on in. You can apply. Um, you can use this QR code to jump in. But it's another way to get involved in uh, types of governance. It's also a way that we reward people who are putting on real data onto the Filecoin network and really making sure that the energy and effort that's happening within the Filecoin effort is being used to store real data um, and not just you know, work that is used to, to support cryptographic proofs. We want this to be a functional utility network. Events. Um, our events team, if you can't tell by this amazing booth, uh, are absolutely phenomenal, and uh, you would be very lucky to come to, an, to a Filecoin event. They're always super high quality, super lovely, and a great place to meet um, incredible developers who are trying to build the decentralized future of sharing information that we all want to live in. Uh, here's a list of events upcoming for the rest of the year. We're going to have, we're currently at Consensus. We're going to have a big showing at um, Brussels for co corresponding with ECC. Uh, we're also going to go to D-Web Camp, uh, which is a wonderful camp out trip uh, in the woods of Northern California with some of the um, biggest thinkers of the early internet and where the decentralized internet of today is going. Uh, we'll be in Singapore for an event that corresponds with Token 2049. Uh, and we'll be in Bangkok um, for an event that will correspond with, um, with, this, with ETH Global. We also have this Filecoin Orbit program, which is a great way for developers or students to um, run their own Filecoin meetups and events. We love when members of our community get together and want to throw an event, show other people about the excitement of Filecoin. We actually have over 190 events that happened last year. We have over 150 Orbit investors. These are really the lifeblood of our community, and we would love to help you get connected to go to an Orbit event or even host an Orbit event yourself. We've made it. Ah.
Okay. Yeah. We made it. Hold on, I think I'm just a good one. Ah, there we go. We've made it really easy to know what's happening uh, in Filecoin and who's building on Filecoin. Our amazing comms team has put together this incredible Filecoin ecosystem explorer, which is a listing of all the projects that are currently on the Filecoin network. So if you are building something on Filecoin, please reach out. Let us know. Let us help promote you and your project. We are always excited for everything that is getting built on the Filecoin on the Filecoin network. Uh, and we have just launched this comms toolkit, a very like DIY way to give um, Orbit ambassadors or people building on top of Filecoin the tooling that they need to be able to have a very professional uh, communication program to go along with their projects. This is an amazing resource that we would love to provide to anyone in our community who is building on top of Filecoin. We know that most developers are not spending their time on comms, and we want to make that easy for you. We've also started putting out this incredible newsletter, DWeb Decoded, um, with the, uh, as well as our newsletter, The Upload. So our podcast, DWeb Decoder, uh, comes out every couple of weeks. We have over 40 episodes talking to some of the best thinkers in the DWeb universe. Um, and um, we would love to have you open it up, download, take a listen. It's a really interesting, fantastic podcast. And our upload newsletter uh, has been reaching more and more people, has a pretty wide distribution list, and is the best way to keep up to date on everything that's happening in the world of Filecoin. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for listening. Um, you can reach me at Megan at Phil.org, uh, TinkMK on Twitter dash X, and um, looking forward to talking to everybody more consensus. Yay! Thanks.